Hey everybody, welcome to Kitchen Talk with Graham. So glad you guys can come up in the kitchen with me today. I hope everybody's having a great day today. You know, we still got all this stuff going on with this coronavirus. I'm going to be talking to you about that and some of the things that uh, is going on here, right here in Alabama uh, concerning this coronavirus, okay? But before we get started, you guys know the routine. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead, right down there, the bottom of your screen. You know what you need to do. I need you to go ahead and take care of that thumbs up slash like button. I need you to go ahead and share this video with all your family and friends. I need you to go ahead, if you have not become a follower of Grana, and hit your subscribe button and become one of my followers. I really appreciate that, okay? And at the end of this conversation, you can come back and give me any reviews or any uh, comments that you would like to give me at the end of the video you can go and give me comments okay i appreciate any comments i get i appreciate all the likes i get all the shares that i get all the followers that i'm gaining i'm still trying to reach a goal of um you know my followers so make sure when you share my video you're telling all your family and friends to subscribe to kitchen talk with Brown. okay all right so let's go ahead and get ready and get it popping up into the kitchen today Okay, so we're still talking about this coronavirus, okay? And like I said in a couple of conversation earlier that um, this is something we can talk about and probably will be talking about all the way to next year. You know, it has affected so many people. It has affected the economy uh, so much. I mean, people are dying. It, 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 it has caused so much uh, destruction uh, destruction uh, things to come with this virus that uh, it's just going to be a topic that, that that people talk about for for a while now. You know, like I said, this is something you're going to talk about for a while. Okay, uh, I was um, wanted to talk to you guys about uh, right here in Alabama. Our governor, Governor Ivory, um, had. Um, um, a special news broadcast last week. This was last week. And she went ahead and uh, made it official for all the schools in Alabama to, to remain closed, okay? The schools were supposed to go back. The students were, were, were gonna return to school uh, April the 6th, I believe, because they got out like a week and a half before their spring break. And their spring break would have been over, you know, the week going into Easter. So um, she went on the, you know, had a broadcast and she went ahead and confirmed it and said it back. We had been hearing little rumors about it. Well, my daughter had been telling me she had been hearing little things on social media saying that the kids was not going to go back to school until August. They was not going to, you know, they was going to just keep them out. So she, Governor Irie, just went ahead and confirmed that, you know, that the kids will be out to August. Okay. So with that being said, there, she's working closely with the superintendent, superintendent and the teachers, all these teachers throughout the, the throughout Alabama and in each county, putting together programs that they can put in place for these students so that they can um, complete their grade and complete whatever courses that they was uh, doing so that they can move on when school started in August to the next grade, to you know, be promoted to the next grade. So they're working on putting all these programs in place. And, uh, you know, there was, I mean, the social media was, once she made that announcement, social media just went crazy, asking a thousand questions. And I, I mean, and this was valid question, you know, there was a mother on there saying, okay, what about my child? They, they are a senior in high school and they would be graduating in May. You know, and they only needed to complete, they was only, you know, going to school, I think up until about 11 o'clock because they had already completed all their um, required subject except for one or two. And so they didn't even have to go a complete day, okay? So the governor was saying that, of course, like I said, when they set these programs up and they get them out to the, to the parents and to the students, you know, these students have to uh, do all these different assignments just as if they was in school. You know, they're going to have to, they're, they're trying to set it up where the majority of the people do these assignments online and have teachers, 
you know, these teachers are online and available to assist as, as they need it or assist the, the students that may need a little extra attention, okay? And then there was questions being asked that, okay, what about um, areas that don't have a great um, internet service that, you know, that is, is just not good at all? And she was saying, or don't even have access to internet or have uh, laptops or, you know, computers or anything like that. So she was saying in those situations, you know, they're gonna go old school, they're gonna do a package with all the material in it, and it would have to be handwritten. You know, they would have to do it. You know, if the parents can't pick the package up, they'll make some kind of arrangement to get the package to the kids with all the instructions in it and go over it. And of course, the, the teachers would be available via a phone call away or email away or, you know, any, whatever type of um, contact you have to get in touch with that teacher, that teacher will be available to help. Okay, so all that's good. All that's really good. It really is. I, I feel for the seniors because it's taken away so much from them. They're not getting a chance to have their prom. They're not going to get a chance to walk across the stage and get their diploma. Okay, as of May, because that's something else she said. She said the seniors, you know, they, they are required to finish up whatever courses that they have to finish to graduate. And beginning of the school year in August, when they get ready to go back to school, that they're gonna make sure and try to have a plan in place so that those seniors that graduate, would have graduated in May will be able to have a graduation ceremony. They will be able to walk across the stage and get their diplomas. That's what they're also working on. So that's, that's, that's great. I, I really feel good about that because I was worried about that because I have a senior grandson that's, that's, that's you know, he's, that's, this is my first grandchild that's getting a chance to graduate and that was gonna be taken away from him. So I'm hoping over in Georgia, they're gonna be having a program like that in place also. You know, if, and I'm not even sure if they're, um, they're completely out of school for the whole, for the rest of the school year. I'm not sure, I haven't really talked to my son about that. But if they are out for the school year, I know my grandson didn't need too much left himself to complete his credits that he need. He didn't have very much left to do. So I'm hoping if that's the case that they have a graduation in August so that he can have a chance to walk across to get his diploma. And like I said, all the Alabama students, students that's graduating this year, I'm glad that they're trying to get that in place so that they will have a chance for all the hard work that they've done and all their family and friends will have a chance to come August to go to their graduation and watch them receive their diploma, okay? But then the other thing that that, that I've been um, really thinking about is, um, you know, these parents having to make such a big adjustment as it is. And now on top of that, they're gonna have to basically teach school their kids, teach their kids. I mean, yeah, the teacher's gonna send a package home and prepare a package for them, whether it's online or if it's manually uh, for the kids, to, for the students to do, the parents has got to be there to enforce it and make sure that they're doing, I'm sorry guys, this, these lights are killing me, you know, but the parents has to be there to enforce it, to make sure that this um, school work, these this is, is getting done. The, pro, the, the work that's coming home is going back to the teachers. The work that's, that's being sent out via online through, you know, the website that these kids have what they need to do uh, these assignments and to make sure it get done because I would hate to see just because of all this that's going on, some child is having to repeat their previous grade. And they did say when the governor was talking that if these, you know, if these, um, programs that they're putting in place are not being enforced at home, it's not going to work because the kids, the, stu the, the teachers cannot be in the home physically to help these students. So the parents has got to do it. And if they're not receiving these um, uh, assignments back, because I guess the teachers got their website and everything going to be set up. And if they're not getting these assignments back that these students or these kids are completing them, then it could affect them being promoted to the next grade, okay? So I really feel bad for um, for the kids that, has, that need that little extra attention. 
you know, all kids are not on the same level. You know, all kids are not up here. You know, some kids need a little extra, a little special uh, attention, you know, with some of, the, some of the assignments that they have to do already, you know, being in class. So I could imagine them having to get that extra assignment or get that extra attention, you know, from home. You know, you have some parents that's not fortunate enough to work from home and to have some type of structure uh, set up along with their work, their work job that they do daily. They can implement the um, the structure that the that the kids are gonna need to do their assignment along with them working throughout the day. You know, some parents are fortunate enough to do that, that that works from home. They can go ahead and they've already started. They, they've already started, you know, implementing, okay, when you get up, okay, yeah, you get your breakfast, you gotta do this from this time to that time, from nine to, to 11, you're doing this. You know, they got everything kind of structured and already started, you know, and that's good. I'm glad that there's parents that's able to do that because the parents that work from home also, uh, it, it's not as easy as people think it is. Cause you know, when you say, oh, I work from home. Oh, you got it made. No, it's not that simple because when you're at home, you still being held accountable. You're still on conference calls. You're still on the computer doing data and doing whatever you're doing. And that stuff it has a time limit on it, just like it would if you was in an office. So you still got the same um, responsibility as working from home as you would, as you would if you was in an office. But on top of all that, now you got to add the school um, program off into your routine, your daily routine, to ensure that your kids are getting a chance to continually to learn what they need and continually to stay on a schedule, a, a, a um, routine that's going to help them get to the next level. So it's a lot. It's so much going on with the school closure. It's so much going on. Uh, in this world today with this coronavirus. I ha I am 58 years old. I have been in the workforce place over 30 years of, <laughs> of my life. I mean, probably longer than that because I started working back when I was about 13, 14 years old. But, you know, um, I've never had it to come to this point where this kind of um, stuff is happening. You know, they're closing down schools or they're closing down these all these business. And you know they're, they're they're cutting hours on business. They're making restrictions. You know, tr you know, self-contain yourself. Stay in the house. You know, don't be around nobody. There's so much going on right now. I have never experienced this stuff. It is so crazy. And you know, we've had times when you know they uh, may school kids be out of school a little extra with the weather or tornadoes or something like that. But to close the school down almost three months ahead of time. That is crazy. That is crazy. The good thing about it, technology. We have all this technology today that even by them closing these schools down, these kids that's fortunate enough to have the internet and the technology and all that can continue to, to, to move forward, continue to do what they got to do. But then, like I say, on the flip side, there are some kids that don't have the internet. You know, they're having to get the packages and actually you know, hand do everything and manually do everything. But it's just so much going on. I mean, right here in Alabama, there is over 500 cases of the confirmed um, coronavirus. 500 people has been confirmed to be, to have the virus. So it's, it's just crazy. We here in North Alabama, uh, we've had three confirmed deaths that, that was confirmed related to the coronavirus. I mean, there was a person in Lauderdale County, Jackson County, and then there was a person right here in Madison County that has passed away because of this coronavirus. I mean, when this virus first started, they was talking about um, it was uh, geared towards more of the elderly, the older uh, people. But that's not true, we, which I never believed that anyway, because how are you going to control a virus and say it's only only the elderly is going to be affected by it? If it's a virus, anyone can be affected, okay? So, of course, that's the case. Anybody can catch this virus and anybody's catching this virus. So, it's just crazy because, like I said, when it's, it's really hitting close to home, you know, with people that's being contaminated with this virus and, you know, you try to self you know, 
do the distance, stay, stay six feet away from everybody when you go out to do your shopping or to pick up something and all that and you're looking around and you know trying to make sure you you know you're putting that distance between you and the next person but it's it's just crazy it's so much going on it's just so much going on i just i just wish and pray that you know once this die down and they telling us it will die down come into the summer months because we're doing the summer months or doing a hotter time this virus cannot live in heat you know, but I'm wondering if it can't live in heat, is it gonna come back come October, November, December, when it fall and winter roll in? I don't know, you know, we don't know. I guess we'll have to deal with that when that happens. But they saying that this virus is going to die as it warms up and the heat, you know, the weather starts staying above, I guess above 80 degrees, because, you know, it cannot survive. So it's just so much going on, but I'm praying and I'm praying and I'm praying that when this die down, we will all come back and be even better than we were before we went into this. You know, this is a time for us to show each other love, to be there for each other and try to show as much support as we can and just check on each other. Just check on each other and make sure everybody is good, okay? All right, so I'm gonna let you guys get up out of here. I appreciate y'all coming to the kitchen with me today, but please, you know, please, if you know someone are you around or, or, or and you're not able to um, check on somebody, you know, have somebody else to check on them, or if you got time to check on your elderly, you know, make sure your kids are good and just be healthy and continue, continue to practice good hygiene. They, that's the bottom line. It's all about good hygiene. So make sure you're practicing your good hygiene. If you have a chance to get out and about, make sure you're spreading the love. Make sure you're giving everybody a smile. Those things doesn't cost you anything. They're free. They're not going to take any money out of your pocket. And just have a great day, guys. Just try to have the best day you can and stay as positive as you can. We will get through this together, okay? Guys, have a great one. I will check you out next time around. All right, bye.